simplify x y to the negative 2 power times 2x squared over y squared to the fourth power. So let's see what we can do over here. So let's think about this part of our expression first. If I have x over y to the nth power, we know that this is the same thing as x to the n over y to the nth. So let's apply that right over here. 2x, so this expression, 2x squared over y squared to the fourth, this is going to be the same thing as 2x squared to the fourth power over y squared over y squared to the fourth power. And of course, we still have our xy to the negative 2 power out here. And actually, let me simplify that as well. We know that if we have, we know that if we have x times y to the nth power, this is the same thing as taking each of the powers of each of the x and the y and then taking the product. This is x to the n times y to the n. And actually, if you just expand, if you multiply x, y times itself n times, you'll see why this actually works out, because you'll have x multiplied by itself x times if you rearrange the product, and y multiplied by itself n times. So let's get, so if we use that same property here, x, y to the negative 2, that's going to be the same exact thing as x to the negative 2 times y to the negative 2. Now what can we simplify? Well, we can use this property again right over here. We have 2x squared raised to the fourth power. So that's going to be the same thing as that's going to be the same thing as 2 to the fourth power, 2 to the fourth power times x squared to the fourth power. And we can do it in the denominator. y squared to the fourth power. Actually, we're going to use a different property in the denominator. We just have y squared to the fourth power. We know that if we have x to the n and then raise that to the nth power, this is the same thing as x to the n times m. So y squared, and then raising that to the fourth power, that's going to be equal to y to the 2 times 4 power, or y to the eighth power. And of course, out here, we have x to the negative 2 times y to the negative 2. Now let's, let's think a little bit about what x to the negative 2 and y to the negative 2 mean. x to the negative 2 just means 1 over x squared. y to the negative 2 just means 1 over y squared. So let's rewrite it like that. So this is <clears throat> this is the same thing as 1 over x squared times 1 over y squared. So we could just write that as 1 over x squared y squared. That and that are completely equivalent. So let's see what we can do now. So we have one last thing. We could, well, we don't have one last thing. We have a few more things to worry about. We have x squared, and then we're raising that to the fourth power. Once again, we can use this property right here. This is going to be x to the 2 times 4 power. So this part right over here, do it in a new color, this part right over here is going to simplify to x to the 8th power, 2 times 4. This part right over here is going to 2 to the 4th power. 2 to the 3rd is 8, so 2 to the 4th is 16. So that is 16. And so our whole expression has now simplified to, and if we multiply it times this, we multiply it times 1. So I'm going to multiply these two fractions. My numerator is 16 times x to the 8th, 16 times x to the 8th. And all of that over, I have x squared. I have an x squared. And then I'm going to have a y squared times a y to the 8th. What is y squared times y to the 8th? y squared times y to the 8th. We have the same base, so we can add the exponents. We're taking the product, so it's going to be y to the 2 plus 8 or y to the 10th power. So y squared times y to the 8th is going to be y to the 10th power. And we're almost there. We have one more thing we can simplify. We have x to the 8th over x squared. And we know, I'll just write the general property. If I have x to the m over, over x to the n, this is equal to x to the m minus n power. So x to the 8th over x squared. That over there will simplify to x to the 8 minus 2 power, or x to the 6th power. And so our whole expression has now simplified to 16, 16 times x to the 6th times x to the 6th, all of that over y to the 10th power. All of that over y to the 10th. And we are done.